one heck of an older horse. And one thing about Granoff, he's passionate about a lot of things, his occupation and his avocation. Marty Granoff is a self-made success story. He's established a corporate stronghold in New York's garment district, and with this timeless bay colt, he's racking up world records faster than you can say merger. No, oh, I love this animal. Uh, he's given me uh, among my biggest thrills in harness racing. Uh, one that comes to mind is the the Jug Day last year, when he broke the world record for a, on a half mile track of 149 and two. Uh, I think a record that's going to stand a very long time. Just last week, Stan Forever demolished yet another world record, this time at a distance of a mile and three-eighths. With John Campbell in the bike, he bettered the previous standard by a whopping 25 seconds. I was only concerned with winning. I wasn't even concerned with the record. Uh, I just wanted him to, to race well and make sure he had enough to, left to finish. And uh, uh, it, I was not trying for a record at all. He could have gone much faster. It would be really wonderful if we could get another couple of thrills of a couple more world records, uh, the mile record and the 5 8 track record. That would be really nice. Horse owners often have lofty expectations for their steeds, but driver John Campbell shares the owner's high opinion of what Stan Forever can accomplish. He's as good as he was, or maybe even better than when he set the world record at Delaware. He, he really impressed me the other night in Woodbine. And his race before that 150 at Pocono was a track record, and. Uh, I think, uh, I think he's going to go on and have a great summer. While Campbell is looking for summer victories, owner Granoff is looking further down the road with sights set on his Colt stud career where he might just stand forever. Imagine having a horse that has the world record on every size track. That would, that would be special. That would assure, assure his success as a star. Well, so we ask him if he's nervous about Friday the 13th. Are you nervous about Friday the 13th? Doesn't seem to be.